All right, so I've gone ahead and installed the uh, Tardo Gimbal T2D, and basically, kind of how it's going to sit. And it, ba it just barely clears my uh, the makeshift legs. I have they're all muddy because I had a muddy field I was landing in last weekend. But uh, when it's down, it's got about probably about two centimeters of clearance um, at the bottom, so just enough to basically sit there and not hit it when it's when it's uh, just idle. But um, yeah, it worked out pretty good. As for the install, I basically just drilled. There's there's two points you have to install this uh, this this bottom plate. So the this top plate actually floats on top of these compression fittings here, and so you can kind of see if I wiggle this, you can see where the where the uh, movement happens. But I basically uh, used two holes. I put here and right inside here, using some really small screws and, and a few of these nylon compression washers. I compressed those. And it's nice and stable, but the most important thing is it doesn't it doesn't hinder the movement at all of this of this uh, vibra anti vibration dampening plate here. So that's kind of where everything's gonna sit. You can see underneath where we have the control board, but that actually you know you, you mount that directly to the plate, so there's nothing I did modification wise there. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I did run across one little problem up front that I'll show you as soon as I plug it in. We get some some slight uh, vibrations but I'll also show how to fix that. And right now I'm only plugging in the, uh, the gimbal. The rest of it's actually been disabled at this point. Okay, so I plug it in. A little amber light pops on. You, I don't know if you can even see it from there. But it'll engage in just a second here. You see how it's doing this weird did it, did it, this shaking action here. Uh, all, I had to, all I have to do is touch it. And it goes back in normal mode, and from there, the gimbal functions perfectly. So you can see it stays nice and level as I'm rotating the, the craft back and forth. But we got to fix that vibration, so I will go ahead and show how to do that now. All right, so what we have to do for this part is basically I'm going to um, flash a new version of the firmware to the gimbal. And doing that, you use the included flashing USB flashing tool. One thing I noticed is that they, the shrink wrap on this is actually a little bit too high, so it's hard to plug in. You can see that. No. Not going to focus for me, but I'm going to have to tri trim this back a bit because I actually won't even plug into the, the, connect, the connector board here. And where it plugs in, so if you, to, to reprogram the actual um, flash firmware for the gimbal control board, it's this pin layout here, and I'll pull up a picture on the screen that will show this in more detail. And then to for the motors, it's going to be this side over here. So you're going to flash the two set. You're going to flash the two separately. You'll flash the control board on this side and the motors on this side. So I'm going to fix this cable so it'll actually fit, and then pull up the actual uh, software interface on the computer. All right. So we went ahead and plugged in. Uh, we have the we're going to flash the gimbal control board first. So I got it plugged into a USB going to my laptop. I'll pull up the interface screen on the actual uh, software and kind of do a side by side here in a sec. Uh, you know, you have, you're connected when you have this little red light LED that pops on. Um, so the first thing you got to do is go is open up the software. And again, I'm on uh, version 1.5 as of October 5th, 2014. All right, so I went ahead and made those changes with the software. So now. Let me go ahead and plug in the leads from the gimbal directly to the battery. Give it a few seconds here. There we go. So it engages. The shake is gone. And as we can see here, nice and stable. So good to see. So now all that's left is a new little test flight.